I went to the thrift store today and I looked in the men's section and the little boys section and tried to find things that I could get in both of those sections to turn into things that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I am going to show you what I got. I'm going to start with the easiest thing, which is just this yellow shirt that I got from the little boy section. It was $1.98 and all I'm going to do with this is crop it. Not that exciting, but it'll be a cute little shirt and it's really something that's so easy. Anyone can do it and it won't take very long at all. So that's not too complicated. Just going to crop it. The next thing on the other hand is probably going to be my trickiest item definitely gonna be my trickiest item. And it is this large shirt from the men's section. It was $2.98. And I think it'd be really cute if I could take it in on the sides and maybe take the sleeves in. And I don't really know. I'm just gonna get my sewing machine out and do some cutting and some sewing and see where we end up. <laughs> and hopefully we end up with something that's cute. All right, the next two things are also not going to be very difficult, something that I do all the time. Um, I got this pair of Levi's from the little boy section because I'm shaped like a little boy and I can wear jeans from the little boy section. This is, this was $6.98, so kind of expensive. Um, but I think they're going to be really cute cut into shorts. So that's my plan with these. The next thing is also a pair of jeans that is also from the little boy section. These were $4.98 and they don't have a brand on the back or the front or anywhere, but it says they are Rustler, whatever that means. Um, but I really like the color. I like the look of them. They're like a nice high-waisted pair of jeans and I will cut into shorts. All right, so that is everything that I got. That's everything from the thrift portion of the video. And now I have to do the hard part, which is the flip portion. Um, so wish me luck. I'm not really worried about the jeans or the yellow shirt that I just want to crop because that's really just cutting. Um, I am worried about the button down, the striped button down, but I'm also excited because that's going to be way more of a challenge than anything that I've ever done before. So. Hopefully next time you see this, I have decided what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> First, you gotta make sure the jeans are nice and smooth so there are no wrinkles or anything, and then decide where you want the jeans to hit you when you have them on, and then cut straight across. I like to use sewing scissors because they're easier to cut with, but any scissors will probably do. And then to make sure that they're even on both sides, I like to fold one side over to meet the other side and then cut across evenly. And then you got a cute pair of shorts. Again, to make sure that the jeans are laying nice and flat and smooth, and then decide where you want them to hit you when you put them on and cut straight across fold them over so that both sides are even, and cut the other leg to match up with the leg that we have already cut. And then these shorts are also done. For the t-shirt, once again, it is important to make sure that it is nice and smooth against the ground, and then decide where you want it to hit you when you have it on. And then, once again, there's a pattern here. Cut it straight across. And then you're done with this, and you have turned a t-shirt into a crop top. All right, here is what I'm trying to figure out with this shirt. My options are crop it, but leave enough room so that I can tie it up, crop it just where I'd want it to hit, and leave it baggy and hope that it just has like a cute boxy look. And I guess those are my only two options. I could try to get fancy and like take the sleeves off, take in the sides, make it more form-fitting, but I'm not really sure if I have the talent <laughs> to do that. 
So I think what I'm gonna try right now is crop it like right here, take like that much off and see if I like being able to tie it up. So that's my plan right now. I decided where I wanted to cut the shirt, marked it on either side, and then stretched a measuring tape across so that I could pin it in a straight line and then cut along those pins in a straight line. All right, now, okay, now I'm gonna cut it. This is always the most terrifying part. <laughs> So I have my sewing machine out and what I'm going to do now is go around the entire edge that I'm sewing and pin it to where I want to sew it, if that makes sense. Alright, I have it all pinned and I have no way of knowing how even it is. <laughs> it doesn't really look that even. but. The beautiful thing about my plan with this is that it's either going to be tied up or tucked in. I'll probably never wear it, just loose, I'm assuming. Um, so it doesn't really matter how even it is, I guess, but I'm still trying my best and <laughs> anyway, I'm going to cross my fingers and sew it now. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, um, go ahead and click out now because I don't want you to see how bad of a job I'm gonna do. So now I have to decide where I want the sleeve to hit. And I'm gonna roll it up to try to determine that. I think that that looks good. So for this part, I have cuffed the sleeve to where I like it. And I've decided that I kind of like the idea of just keeping the cuff here and just sewing it down because I like the look of having the cuff. So I'm not sure how that'll work, but what I'm gonna do is pin it here and flip it over and do the other side as well. And now I'm going to try to sew along this line and see if that works. turned out like. I really like it. I'm actually really happy with it. Here are the sleeves up close. They're just cuffed up and not as long as they used to be. Maybe could have gone one more cuff. Um, maybe I'll do that eventually, but I think I like the way they are right now. Um, and then the edge is just sewn. Um, so this is what it's like open. And then... This is what it's like tied up. I think it's really cute. I'll probably wear it this way the most, I'm assuming. Just kind of cinches it in, it makes it less baggy. Um, and then also, this is what it's like tucked in. You can do like a baggy tuck or tuck it all the way around. So yeah, I am really happy with it. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, but um, I think it's really cute. So I'm pretty happy with how this whole thrift flip turned out. Um, let me know if it was fun for you because I would like to make a bunch more of these videos because this was really fun for me. Um, anyway, also let me know what your favorite thing was, what your favorite piece of clothing was. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.